Good morning. Uh, I'm Maurice Bray and I'm representing National Grid IFA2 Limited as the applicant for the IFA2 proposals. I would like to begin by thanking the officers of Fairnborough Council for their professional manner in which they have engaged with us over many months. The report they have produced is both thorough and balanced. Members of the Planning Committee, the UK faces a substantial energy challenge to ensure safe, secure, sustainable and affordable energy supplies for consumers now and far into the future. IFA2 would play a vital role in meeting this challenge by linking the electricity transmission systems of Great Britain and France. In doing so, it would deliver three fundamental benefits to energy consumers in the UK. First, using proven technology, it would make energy supply more secure by giving reliable access to a wider range of generation sources from across Europe. Second, it would give access to cheaper energy markets, putting downward pressure on prices. Third, IFA2 will support the shared use of sustainable and renewable energy sources. It could import power from abroad when we need it, or export it in the event we have a surplus. These are the reasons why the government has made it a national priority to achieve 10% of the UK's electricity capacity through interconnection by 2020. This would mean at least doubling the UK's existing interconnector capacity. In short, there's a proven national need for IFA2. From our considerable assessment, Daedalus is the most appropriate site for the converter station proposals. And I would like to reassure members of the committee that IFA2 will also bring notable local benefits. Afforded courtesy to all the previous deputies, I expect the audience to say, show the same respect to this person as well. Thank you. No more outcries, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Far from jeopardising employment, its construction and operation has the potential to stimulate the equivalent of over 100 new full time jobs in the local area. And together with our contractors, we will invest in local employment opportunities vocational training and other educational projects. We see IFA2 as being entirely consistent with the Solent Enterprise Zone. Indeed, we will be committed to address misconceptions and perceptions and support and accelerate its future growth and success, not least by providing substantial funding to support the gateway attraction of the business parks and to support a dedicated business development officer for the Enterprise Zone, a resource that the Council would not otherwise have. We will deliver around 18 hectares of new open space for the enjoyment of the local community. This includes walkways and cycle routes from Stubbington to the Alva Valley. Increasing the existing open space allocation by over four hectares, we will therefore provide a significant enhancement for the local community, both in terms of quantity and quality of open space. Members of the committee, we have undertaken considerable public consultation and have listened to local concerns about the project. Recognising the many deputations today, I can further reassure the committee that we have commissioned and completed a number of expert assessments analysing in detail the potential effects of the proposals on the environment, local people, businesses and the airport. The officer's report confirms that the Council has undertaken similar independent studies and that together these have informed the conditions that officers believe are necessary and appropriate. National Grid is confident of its organisational capabilities and its responsibilities to meet its obligations. This application has been thoroughly thought through and assessed. We recognise the importance of existing airfield businesses and tenants to Daedalus and its wider community, which is why we have put in so much effort to resolve the concerns of Britain Northern in particular, not only with them directly, but also with their key customer, the Ministry of Defence, Defence Equipment and Support, as they are the type airworthiness authority for the Defender and Islander aircraft that they operate. We have had close and recent dialogue with the MOD and they have confirmed to us their satisfaction with our proposals, which are in any case materially similar to the suggestions that Britain and Norman have made in their recent representation. We find no rationale for any tenant to walk away. 
We're not aware of any representations, objections or concerns from any other existing tenants or indeed prospective tenants on the airfield or indeed in the solar enterprise zone. Members will note that statutory quantities have no objections to IFA 2 subject to the conditions drawn up by your officers. Critically, Thank you, Mr. Murray. Okay.